Tonight, they're low-tech, low-cost, and they clean the water from the modern battlefield to the urban slum. Simple new ways to save thousands of lives. This is National Geographic Today. Hello and welcome, I'm Laura Green. Many of us have the urge to get out there and explore the world, but nature often throws obstacles in our path. We just have to learn to cope with them. Modern science is always coming up with solutions, and tonight we'll explore just a few of them. Coming up next, new technology on the battlefield, making bad water safe for soldiers. That's when National Geographic Today returns. Unsafe drinking water is one of the leading causes of death in developing countries. More than one billion people lack access to clean water. Polluted water can cause bacterial infection, typhoid fever, and hepatitis A. Gastrointestinal diseases are among the major killers in the third world. Each year, more than 2.2 million children die from them. It's difficult to imagine such potentially deadly threats in a clear river, let alone a simple glass of water. But now a small corporation in New Mexico has come up with a revolutionary method of water purification that is providing millions of people with safe drinking water. And incredibly, that same technology has been miniaturized into a really simple device that's currently very topical because it fits into the pockets of U.S. Marines headed for Iraq. Today's high-tech military requires soldiers to understand and operate the most sophisticated equipment in the world. But no soldier would see any action without the most basic element of all, water. You can actually get people to the point where they aren't able to function um, normally or, uh, or up to performance levels within 24 hours if they don't have adequate water. So it's, it's probably physiologically probably the most important factor in, in operations. For reconnaissance marines like these, behind enemy lines in Afghanistan and other combat areas, safe drinking water is hard to get. It's usually bottled and flown into safe zones. Really expensive, but special operations soldiers have to rely on iodine pills and pump filtration systems. The drawbacks being bad taste and the increased risk of exposing themselves to enemy fire. Well, meet the newest high-tech equipment being tested for the very first time by the U.S. military. I'd never seen anything like it before, and it's, uh, it's incredible. The Myox pen. It's a tiny, lightweight water purification system that's portable. All you need is a water source, salt, and a small battery. To date, uh, the Myox mixed oxidant technology has been very effective against all of the biological agents. This includes anthrax and has been effective against some of the uh, surrogates for some of the chemical agents that you would find that could possibly be used in uh, chemical warfare. The salt source is in here and it's just a little salt tablet and you can have a, a backup supply of salt tablets. These will last for about 50 uses per, before it has to be replaced. You can also use table salt, any form of salt. The batteries are in here, and these are basically just lithium camera batteries. This is an, our electrolytic cell, and this is the heart of the technology. Right here, it's bubbling. That's converting the brine through electrolysis into a mixed oxidant solution. You pour that into the water, mix, and 15 minutes later, voila, safe drinking water. One advantage of the Myox pen that other disinfection systems don't have, it leaves a disinfectant in the water to guard against recontamination, such as pouring the safe water into a dirty cup. This disinfection pen will treat about four liters of water, which is about a gallon of water. Now, our larger capital equipment is used to disinfect city drinking water supplies, a cell that will, that will make 100 pounds of chlorine a day, will treat about six to 12 million gallons of water per day. Myox is more expensive than the traditional chlorine gas and bulk bleach methods, but officials say after a few years, the system can save you money. They also say it's much safer. Both the gas and uh, bulk bleach are poisonous. Gas, of course, if it's emitted from these large 
pound cylinders that municipalities use uh, would get into the atmosphere and could uh, kill thousands of people. Myox has plans to mass produce the pens and eventually put them on the consumer market, geared toward travelers and outdoor enthusiasts, even as an emergency backup for home use in the case of a terrorist attack. For now, it's taking aim at the military. Systems are being installed on assault ships and aircraft carriers like the USS Enterprise. I think it'll be good. It'll help a uh, Marine get closer to the enemy. Anything that can keep us out there longer and let us carry a little bit less weight, that's, that's great. It didn't taste dirty, it didn't taste chlorine, it just tasted like stream water, you know. Well, I don't think it's going to change the way we do business, but it'll sure make some aspects of the business a little easier. All right, gents, move out. Well, here it is. The company sent us one to show you. As you can see, it's really small. It's very light, it fits in the pocket, and potentially, of course, it could save lives. Well, as Patty said in the piece just then, the company hopes to have it out on the consumer market soon. It'd be great if you're into a wilderness backcountry camping or anything like that. It will set you back about $100, but of course, for that, you get the pen, it lasts indefinitely, you've just got to change the salt and the batteries.